Our next stop is Clannymanach, just 10 miles east of Llanfillen. Ah, now, John, this little village here, Clannymanach, is yes. quite interesting, according to the map. Why is that? Because the border between England and Wales runs right down the centre of the road. Never. Yeah. Yeah. So which side is this one? This is England. Yeah. And that's Wales. And that's Wales. Yeah. How about that? Well, I suppose in the days then, uh, when Wales was dry on a Sunday, <laughs> I hope, hope there's a pub on this side. You can, there's probably more on this side than on that <laughs> yeah. side, actually. There's one there, there's another one there. The High Street border is not this village's only claim to fame. The limestone cliffs that dominate the skyline tell of a past at the centre of the Industrial Revolution. In the late 19th century, Lanny Manick's great Hoffman kiln was in full production, creating quicklime that was used as mortar in the same way as cement is used in building today. At 110 metres long, this huge kiln was a series of individual chambers arranged around a tunnel that allowed the continuous burning of limestone. Production ceased in 1914, and today a group of local volunteers have worked hard to raise £900,000 to restore the site. The Hoffman Kiln, to my mind, is, is a little gem. It's the only one left in this part of the world, in fact, in, in the UK, which is complete and has a chimney, and the whole village thought it was worth keeping and restoring. It probably cost about 2,000 quid in its day in 1898, but you look at the cost of this now. I mean, we spent nearly a million pounds trying to restore it, so it gives you some idea. It is very important to this area and all the heritage in this area, the quarries, the railways, the canals and so on. Volunteers have also built a mini kiln so they can demonstrate the technique to local school groups. And I'm going to pour this on the quick lime. Oh, here's one going, look. Look at this one. And local architect Tim Ratcliffe runs lime work courses for builders and property owners doing restoration work. The, the biggest threat to historic buildings at the moment is cement. Uh, cement mortars uh, are too hard. You're using materials that are porous, so the stone, the brick that people used to build with historically are relatively soft. And if you put a hard cement against them, which is what people have done for the last 50 years, uh, it traps the moisture in the wall. The wall then gets very damp. You have problems with um, moisture transfer, but more significantly, the brick or the stone decays. Uh, we need to use mortars that are actually softer than the, the building blocks themselves. And actually, lime mortars fit that bill. And the reason most historic buildings are still standing is because they were built with lime in the first place. 